Hey guys, what is up? It is Ashy Wolfie here. Back, back. We are back. We are live on Maple Story. Welcome to the first season of Maple Story, guys. Um, I have loved this game for a really, really long time. I've been around since it was the servers Cradia through Skania down here at the bottom of the list. I used to play on Kahini's server a lot back a couple years ago. And then I moved around, fell out of the game, but I've always wanted to bring this game to you guys, and we can. So, we're just going to pick a server. I'm going to pick the Arcania server. I think you have to double click the server. Oh no, you don't. Okay, and then you can pick a channel. Now this is how good Maple Story is. They have 20 different channels, quote unquote, or servers. I always pick the least populated. And then you come to the character area. Now if you have a character, you'll see it. I don't have a character on this particular server, so we are going to create a new character. So we're just going to click the create character button. And then you have over 30 different classes here of characters to choose from. You can tell you your max level, the difficulty, the mobility, going from lowest to highest. Um, Hayatos are now much stronger. You could try out the all new ones of these. Uh, if you're a gunner, explorers are the very first maplers, if you want to say it. Um, before the 30 classes, there were only explorers that I knew of. So, uh, then you have dual blade explorer, cannoneer explorer, jet explorer, which those are really cool. Uh, Cygnus knights, uh, the actual knights themselves, Mihail the resistance, um, a, the demon class, Xenon in the resistance, Mercedes, which is a hero, Eren, Phantom, Luminous, Avan, Shade, the forgotten sixth hero of the Maple World, Shade, make the ultimate sacrifice to steal the Black Mage. Uh, oh yeah, that, that was a very interesting story. And in the Nova classes, you have Kaiser, the Angelic Buster, and then the Zero class. Before the Black Mage could steal away the Goddess of Time, she created a child to carry her power. But that child has been split in two. Control both Alpha and Beta as they struggle to work together and become the heroes they were born to be. Access a unique tag system that allows you to swap between different weapons and fighting styles on the fly. Can you create? Starting level is 100. Max level 250. Now, normally, I would go through the um, entire story, but I have been wanting to play this particular class since it came out. We're, this class is currently not available. Crap! They only allow you to create specific characters like Zero on specific events. And if that's the case, then this particular class will be a mini-series. Um, for us... We are definitely wanting to pick something really, really cool. I want to pick the something easy. Not too easy, though. And what it means by hot is that these are the hot classes at the current time. Uh, you guys know me. I'm more about standing out from the crowd. We're going to create an explorer. Yes. Ashy Wolfie 201. Ashy Wolfie 2. Female. Okay. Hopeless gaze. Motivated look. Fearful stare. Leisure look. I like that. Red hair. I am as pale as a ghost. Don't like that outfit. Eh, we're stuck with the mufflers. Purple it is. Uh, purple shoes. And you know what? Let's do a wooden club. 
Now, it's going to ask you for two different kinds of key settings. The basic key setting, which I'm familiar with the insert, delete, home, and page up, page down settings because I've played MapleStory longer. But the second key setting is kind of like League of Legends, QWE, or ASDNF. Um, I'm doing the basic key settings, but if you guys are more familiar with the... Uh, it, you could always change your settings in system menu keyboard settings. So, now, it's going to ask you to enter in your PIC, or Personal Identification Code. Meaning, this is a secondary password that only I know about. And because I only know about it, I'm going to have to stop the recording here in just a second and go through the cutscene as well. Um, that way... Uh, you know, we can move on. The reason why I'm ending it here is because I do not need people knowing my PIC. So I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to this brand new series. See you in a moment. And after computer derps. <laughs> It's pitch black. What are we doing? All right. So you don't use your mouse to move. You press your left and right arrow keys to move. Or not. Hang on. Oh, okay. So you also, when doing this, have to wait until your bar comes up. And it is your left and right arrow keys to move. And the up key takes you to the portal. This is a cutscene slash tutorial. Excuse me. What's that light? Control key to use normal attacks. Okay, I think I'm going to get back into the hang of things here. It's been a while since I've actually played this. You cannot exit if you do not break the chain. Let me out! Let me out! How long do we have to attack? Head to the light and press the up key to enter another world. Do you want to exit this place and go to a new world? Of course! Of course we do! Yoo-hoo! Onward! Ho! Yes. Definitely. Ooh, we're and now cutscene, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the wonderful world of Maple Story. Am I atop a the maple tree? Only way to go is down. And so now you hit your alt and your down key, and it sends you into a new world. Maple Hill. Woohoo! They have changed this game a lot since the last time I played this game. This is absolutely amazing. Nexon, you're doing a glorious, glorious thing. Okay. Who was the girl? Why did she run away when she saw me? Maybe I'll follow her. And I love it because it's storytelling. So, Maple Road, Maple Tree Hill. I wonder... This is a whole new tutorial way. So, let's go through here. Snail Park. Oh my gosh, these graphics are so freaking awesome! Holy crap! My, yeah, it's been a while because mine used to be somewhere completely different than New Explorer. Oh my goodness! Hi, I'm I, an aspiring hero. It took me four years, but I just completed my freshman year at Hero School. You must be a New Explorer. A New Explorer? What's that? This was on that test! I flunked ten times! This was on that test! I flunked ten times! 
uh, oh, right! Explorers are people who come to Maple World from other worlds. They start their journey right here on Maple Island. I'm on Maple Island? You sure are! We used to be just some tiny island, but then explorers started popping out. Now, we've even got our own outhouse. Okay. <laughs> So, your name is Ashy Wolfie 2, right? You have two options now. You can listen to some explanations about starting out, take a few small tests, get some free gifts, and become my new best friend in the entire world. Or you can be teleported straight to town, but you'll miss out on my gifts, and I'll be super lonely inside. Aww. What do you say? Now, as if we haven't gone through enough tutorial in this video, we're going to go through more of the tutorial. Get free gifts, get free equipment, get get the things that we need. Because for the explorer class I want to do, which is a warrior, you have to be a level 10. We're only, in the bottom right hand corner, a level 2. Meaning, we have to go through this tutorial. Really? I'll fill you in on everything you need to know. I promise. Oh, this is going to be interesting. And as you notice, down here is your level, your beginner, um, HP, NP, experience, shop, star planet is a separate world with separate things. Um, hopefully we could get to the level where we could actually get to the star planet and play the games and have fun there. Uh, this is your menu. It shows you inventory, equipment, character stats, skills, community, quests, messenger event, and visit the farm. This is your system options. You can change your channel. You know, you click that and you could actually change the uh, server channel that you can go to. Uh, key settings. You could change your key settings here. System options. If you have a joypad, you can literally attach a joypad to this and set your controller settings to the game. Or this is also where you could quit game. And then you have your channel here. If you don't want to go through the system, then you could, you could just click channel. Now, uh, these little green buttons is character info. Stats. This is where you will be a lot, ladies and gentlemen. To level up stats so get used to the stat page you can also hit s on your keyboard quest you can hit your q button if see right now we don't we don't have quest except for here uh items you hit your i button e you hit your e button it shows you the equipment that you have uh k is for your skills you will be here an awful lot uh, go to my farm, key settings. So right now, that's pretty much a rundown of your keys that I'll be quickly getting in and out of all the time. Uh, I will mention again that you hit this button to get here and stuff like that. Let's get on starting and completing quests. And this tutorial may also help you. <laughs> Someone's talking to me. This is the best day ever. Did you know us talking right now is actually a quest? And completing quest is the key to becoming a great hero? I learned that at Hero School! Click on people with the light bulb icons over their head to start quest. You must be some sort of genius to have figured that out for yourself. It took me two semesters to master that skill. Oh my heavens. Remember to click people with this icon the closed book icon over their heads too. That's how you turn in quests and get rewards. I read all about that in textbooks. It was a little advanced for me. Later, when you're a higher level, you can also click the light bulb icon on the left side of the screen to grab new quests. Just give me a few years and I'll reach out level myself. How old are you? Since you've been so nice and let me talk for five whole minutes without running away, I want to give you a present. The next step is really, really tough. You have to click OK 
and then the quest completion icon, which is the closed book icon, over my head to finish the quest. Don't worry if you don't get it on your first. Double click the book icon, turn in the quest. Holy ribbon bags! You have amazing number of value strength! With talent like that, you owe it to the world to complete lots of quests. Just use the hotkey Q to see what quests are available. Some will be essential, others might be tougher, but they'll all be appropriate for your level. Click the quest balloon icon when you're in the mood to do quests, which we will be doing a lot of them. Now, here's the gift I promise you. I hope it doesn't collapse when you use it like the last few times. A chair and 20 experience. Now. Woohoo! Level up! They they redid that too. Wow. Sorry for if it's a little loud. I made the relaxer myself with stickers and love. When you sit in chairs, you'll recover health more quickly. It took me half a year to master the technique. It's all in the wrist. Now, I want to tell you all about hunting. It's totally frightening, but most quests require it. I'll meet you where the monsters are. Just take the portal to the right, and remember, feet first. Don't try to dive into the portal like I did the first few months. Okay. So, to use your chair, if I remember correctly, it's X. And you can sit in a chair and have some fun with friends when you want to talk. However, we are actually going to head on over to the portal. Mai is now here inside the small forest. This is going to be a little bit longer of an episode because we're going to try and get to at least level five before we call it an episode here. So let's do the next quest. Hunting and gathering. Goodness, you have such a graceful, beautiful walk. You could be a model. Anyway, let me tell you about hunting. <coughs> hunting is the act of eliminating monsters. The more monsters you eliminate, the stronger you'll be. Some even drop presents after you smash them. Ooh, pressies! Try it out by pressing control to smack those junior sentinels to the right. Or left, I mean, or right. Sorry, I get confused sometimes. So... Bring me one Junior Sentinel shell piece, too. I've always wanted to see one, but still haven't quite figured out which end of my sword I'm so supposed to hold. Oh, heavens, child. Okay, so basically, up here is your quest helper. Now that I remember this correctly, it, it can hold up to five quests. Which means it'll tell you what you need and how much you need of it. I loved the quest helper when I was playing because if I had to go five different places, it always told me what I needed and how much I needed of it. That way, I knew what place to stay in for the right period of time. Now, if you notice, these aren't hurting you. Hi. All right. So as you can see, we defeated the uh, Sentinel shell piece, and we got the Sentinel shell piece, and we defeated the Tutorial Junior Sentinel. Now, it is Z to usually pick up items. However, if you have your number lock on, it is also the zero key on your number pad. Because you're using your left and right uh, arrow keys, I always use zero. That always helps me. That way I'm not having to reach over and hit a separate key. Let's turn in this quest. You're the strongest person I've ever met! Those monsters didn't stand a chance, did they? To get stronger, you want to fight monsters near your level. Which means you have to hunt tougher monsters as you level up. By the way, let me know if you ever see any level 10 monsters for me to any level negative 10 monsters for me to hunt. Oh, good lord. Okay, so uh, let's take this next quest. How to stuff your face. If you ever find yourself in a pickle, you can use consumable items found in the used tub of your inventory. Just double click. Here, try it out by eating this apple. Just press the I key, then double click the apple. So. I'll even give you more apples after you finish chopping on that one. Just press I, then double click the apple. Now, I is how you're going to get into your 
item inventory an awful lot. Then you just double click, see? And then click I and turn in the quest. Even the greatest hero starts at the bottom. That's what I keep telling myself. Wow, I've never seen anyone with such an amazing technique. Beaver World is full of stuff for you to munch on. Just remember to check the effects before you put anything in your mouth. And then you get obtained. Five apples, 30 experience. Click OK. And we've leveled up. Level four, your level has increased. So, that's pretty much how you level as you continue to take quests. You're so good at everything you do. Here, take this apple and this one, and here are a few more for good measure. Hey, you know, you might want to drag these apples into the hotkey window to access them more easily. Okay, so I will show you the hotkey window. Now, this little window right over here. As you can see, I have my attack control. You could do this for skills as well as items. For me, I always love to put consumable items in the page up. Now, page up, page down. Now, you just click to grab a hold of it. Left click to grab a hold of the item you're dragging. Then, left click again to drop that item there. The item will stay in your inventory, yes, but you'll be able to see it on your hotkey window a lot easier. So now I put the delete key as five apples. Moving on to the next quest, using skills. Supposedly, you'll get AP to improve your stats and SP to train your skills each time you gain a level. But this stuff I only understand in theory, since I've never leveled up myself. <sighs> You can manually distribute your AP, or you can use the auto assign button to do it automatically. For your skills, press K to open your skill window where you can spend your SP. Go on and press K to open your skill window now. I've always wanted to see it in action. Now, that was so cool. You should hotkey your favorite skills. I never did anything, okay. That was so cool! You should hotkey your favorite skills. Just drag the skill icons from the skill window to the hotkey window and you'll be able to use your skills at the touch of a hotkey. Okay, so I'll show you what she means. And I think it's us. Yes. Okay, so you're going to be in these two windows a lot as well. You are going to be in these two windows when you level up your damage, your HP, your MP, you're going to level that up in your with your S key. Um, which when we get to those higher levels, I'll actually show you guys that. But you will be hitting the S key an awful lot to pull this up, to look at the detailed stats, to look at your abilities, to look at your stats in general. Uh, but we're not here for that. We are actually here. Okay, Blessing of the Fairy. Mm. Okay, so I must have a character on this server or something to have Blessing of the Fairy. That is a random skill, I think, if you have a second night. I'm not quite sure. So I know somebody may correct me, but I digress. We have three skill points. So in order to level up your skills, you're going to click the arrow button. And it's going to say SP to use one or you can add or take away i'm only going to level this up one right now and then i'm going to level up and then i'm going to level that up again and now we've used all our skill points now we can actually drag our skills yeah that's a usable skill insert for recovery and shift for three snails. So we're going to turn in this quest. You'll get all sorts of skills as you level up. Offensive skills, stat boosting skills, movement skills. I've memorized the entire list. If I could learn even one skill, I would be so happy. Part of the challenge is figuring out which skills to level up first. But I'm sure a genius like you will have no problem with that. And I'm sure you'll also remember the hotkey, your favorite consumable items and skills, without needing to write it on your hand. 
<laughs> I think I've shared with you just about everything I've learned from eight years of hair school. I have, I just have one last little surprise. Oh, we've got to see this last little surprise. We've made it this far. We've got to see this last little surprise. But we've hotkeyed our skills pretty much. inside the dangerous forest. Oh, great. Now we actually get to fight things. Jump, jump, jump. You've been so nice chatting with me when you're obviously destined to be some sort of mega hero that I feel obligated to get you a present. Yay, presents! I'll take everything you got to successfully retrieve it. So, I put it in a box way up high. Destroy it with a tax to get the first explorer gift box, then return to me, okay? For a little extra boost, try jumping from a mushroom pad. Use liars and platforms to your advantage too. Oh wow! Okay, so they have really changed this. Alright. Human cushion title in progress. One out of a hundred times fallen. Okay. Yay! And you could just, you don't have to hit the control button, you could just hold down the control button. Okay. First Explorer gift box. Eee! Human cushion title in progress, 200 times. Well, everybody knows me, I fall all the time, so that shouldn't really be that hard of an ordeal, right? Watching you in action is like watching poetry in motion. I swear, me give us changed my life for the better. Here, let me unpack that box for you. Okay, so have you unlocked the box for me, or? Okay. Go on, open it up. It's the least I can do. Okay, so let's end the chat. Let's hit our eye. First explorer gift box. Okay, so, let us do this, home and end, okay, oh wow, okay, alright, so we basically now have new items on our person. Meaning our purple adventure shoes, we now have everything pretty much on our person. We have leveled up to level 5. And that will be the end of the episode here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. In the next episode, we will finish this. We will finish the tutorial. We'll go on to the next area where we actually have to level up to our level. And then we will become a warrior. So, I want to thank you guys again. If you like what you see, please click the like button. It lets me know you guys are adoring Maple's story and having so much fun with it. If you guys love what you see on the channel overall, please, please, please click the subscribe button. And I am Ashi Wolfie. I will see you next time. And until then, be you and don't change who you are. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye for now.